Good morning, Minimal Fam. It's been a while since I've done a proper vlog for all of you, so I thought I'd do that today. I'm gonna to show you how I spend my weekends as an ultra minimalist and Sigma, AKA loner female. Um, normally I like to start off my first day off. It is Tuesday, which is my Saturday. Normally I like to start that off with a very slow and peaceful morning, but today I really wanna try and get some filming done in my pool and I need to take advantage of it being empty before all the little kiddos start filling it up. So I'm gonna jump straight into the pool and try and get some filming done for a little art project. I have no idea if it's gonna work because trying to film yourself upside down underwater and stay in the frame of an iPhone um, is tricky. <laughs> but if you end up seeing a video come out that is me in the water, that means it worked. And if you don't, that means it doesn't work, but I am gonna go try. So I'm gonna take you along for that filming. Um, I have to say, even though this is totally just for fun and for art and there's no pressure, it's funny how residual emotion can stay in the body. Just getting up early and jumping straight in the pool, that may sound refreshing for summertime in July to some people, but for me, because of so many decades of getting in the pool in the Bay Area when it was like 30 degrees and raining and dark out in February, just the the energetic memory in my body right now is just like kind of it's almost like trauma being unearthed like no don't do it but it's like totally not a big deal it's just funny that that's still there so okay i'm gonna go get my butt in the pool now and see if i can make some art let's hang out Okay, the pool was a success. I actually just got home and low key, I was laying on my bed naked editing it. <laughs> Full disclosure, couldn't film that. Also can't film myself editing on my phone from my phone. Uh, but I get in this manic mode with art where I just like want to get it out and have to get it done in the moment. So I literally, I jumped in the shower to get all the chlorine off of me and then didn't even put on clothes. I just sat on my bed at naked editing perks of living alone and um, it's just a little short it actually probably will have published already by the time you are seeing this video um, 
it's artsy and different and I haven't made something creative in a while so I was happy to get that done but what I did in the pool was not that strenuous it was more just artsy so I'm going to jump into my two times per week uh, daily workout um, I do have a video titled my ultra minimalist workout routine if you want to check that out but I'm going to jump into that now Okay, workout is done. That felt great. It is hot in my apartment because I don't have my door open yet and it's getting toasty here in the valley in San Diego. It's probably gonna be in the high 80s today. Uh, but it feels good to work out in the heat, get a little bit of an extra sweat. I am gonna jump into some stretches right now. I do have a video called my uh, flexibility routine as a professional synchronous swimmer and dancer. If you wanna check out an in-depth overview of the stretches I do. I always try to do them after my workout because I'm nice and warm and that's what will help the muscles recover and elongate and you're much less likely to injure yourself or overstrain yourself if the muscles are warm going into your stretches. Okay. Gotta hydrate. I am going on a walk. I'm not gonna do a super long one, obviously, because I just did my workout, but I always usually do a workout and then a walk, but I did do some extra activity in the pool. I do still wanna go on my walk though, because on top of just physical movement for the body, that is healthy. The nature for me starting my day, especially when I have time on my day off and don't have to rush to go to work, Starting my day being out in nature with the trees and the birds and the grass and the beautiful mountains around me is so, so nurturing. That is like, for me, that's the most important food uh, to start my day with, even though I've already done a bunch of stuff, but I definitely wanna ground myself into nature. So I'm going to take you on a walk with me. Lately, I've been actually loving walking without my phone. Um, it's in a safe neighborhood, it's daytime. I don't worry about stuff like that. Uh, because I've just been enjoying silence and just hearing my own breath and the steps and the nature around me. But today I'm in kind of a, um, I'm kind of in, I'm kind of vibing. I'm, I'm getting shit done. So <laughs> it feels good. So I'm going to listen to some music today and I'm taking my phone anyway so I can show you all my new neighborhood. So let's go. As mentioned before, I hate sunscreen. I hate slathering that stuff on my body. So instead I wear a long sleeve shirt and a hat. It's better protection than sunscreen anyway. And this is pretty light material, so I don't get overheated. I did take a survival course one time and they said for sun protection, woo, almost got off the sidewalk here. For sun protection, it's actually way better to protect yourself from heat stroke to actually wear long sleeve uh, shirt because you can still get overheated with uh, sunscreen on. It's kind of counterintuitive. You think you would want to take layers off, but Mr. Survival Guy says keep the long sleeves on. So that is what I do. And speaking of thrift stores, I recently had a thrift store video that come out. came out. This was another thrift store find. Let's drop my phone here. Uh, this was $7. So high five for thrift stores. Okay, let's keep walking. What I 
love about this walk is the first like mile is completely uphill, pretty steep, which always feels great. It's a great way to get the limbs pumping and a nice extra push. Whew, I'm breathing hard. It's hot out on your workout. All right, I'm gonna keep going here. This is my magical little meditation spot. Got some benches here. I've been coming to in the mornings and I'm so appreciative to have this. Look how beautiful. Like why would you watch TV or play a game on your phone when you can be out in the world like this? I'll never understand. I wanted to quickly touch on, this popped into my head as I was jamming up the hill, the idea of perfectionism, because I'm on this walk and in this real time, I'm taking little snippets of things that I look beautiful that I want to show in this vlog. And I, I think people get caught up, not just YouTubers, but everyone in this sense of having to do everything perfectly. And they can get analysis paralysis or failure to launch because they think something needs to be exactly right and they'll do things 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times to get it right. And well, say if you're a surgeon operating on someone's spine, you do have to be perfect so you don't kill that person. For most of us trying to get done what we wanna get done, especially if it's like art or a passion project or even things you have to do like a work presentation or parenting or whatever, we can get so caught up in perfectionism that it it paralyzes us and puts us in a straight jacket and for me my own process with it like when i'm making a video like this i i focus on the feeling of what i want to convey versus the actual technicalities of it and coming from a background of synchronized swimming where it was absolutely perfectionist oriented and you know for example our routine was four minutes and we would practice eight hours a day and we could spend six hours on one little arm of the routine that took maybe three seconds of that four minute routine. We could spend six hours doing that arm. Do it again, do it again. No, that's not right. Fix your pinky, you're out of pattern, you're off count, you're on the wrong angle, you're, uh, your face is tilted wrong, whatever. Do it again, do it again, do it again. And while that certainly has value in pushing the human spirit to its its limits and seeing how much you can grow, I'm thankful I do have that side of me. I do think it's very limiting. And as I transitioned through my career into becoming a performing artist and later a dancer where I was doing basically improv art and creating in the moment, not going off of choreography and having to be perfect on everything, it was incredibly liberating and that's definitely more the mode I live my life in now. I focus on the feeling and the passion and the heart. When you're in that space, what you want to convey will come through. I, when I'm filming videos like this, you know, if a shot is like absolute garbage, yes, I'll throw it out. But I don't do things 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 times trying to get that shot over and over and make sure, like right now my face is dark because of the lighting, but I don't care. Like you can hear me, I think and it's more about this view. I, I focus on the feeling of, of what I wanna convey and the passion I'm feeling for whatever that is in the moment. And I think that will come through in what you're doing versus like looking at minutia and comparing it to other things and saying, oh, well, this angle wasn't quite right here. The light's not quite right. Or I didn't sound quite right. Like I think in most circumstances, again, not for surgeons um, and certain other things, but in most circumstances, if you come from a heart space, perfection doesn't matter as much and the passion of what you're doing, whatever that is, will shine through and communicate what you want to communicate. Okay, that's my little speech. I'm not gonna film the rest of my walk because I want to be present with nature, uh, but I think you've got a pretty good idea of the vibes in my neighborhood. I'm so blessed to be here. Uh, I'm gonna go into a little meditation and then power through the rest of my walk. Cheers. 
All right, I'm back from my walk. I did have to take a second shower because it is really hot out. I got super sweaty from my walk and my workout. I am going to the library now. This is the fit for today. I'm gonna to go to the library and get some work done. I am first going to upload a video that I filmed yesterday that is going to be published tomorrow. I've mentioned before, I don't have internet at my house, so I just use the free Wi-Fi at the library and it is awesome. So I'm gonna upload that video and then I am going to actually start editing this video in real time. This is like, Inception YouTube, like video in a video in a video in a video. <laughs> uh, but so I don't lose my mind, I'm going to start editing this video. Just a little insight for how my mind works. I do not procrastinate, I cannot procrastinate. I was always that A-type kid. Like, I remember in sixth grade, I actually got in trouble because I read too far ahead in the Greek history book. I was like so into Greek history and mythology. I was like, yes, I lived this in a past life. At least that's what my sixth grade brain thought. But I read like two or three weeks ahead and knew all the answers and was like spoiling, you know, spoiling lessons or whatever. My teacher's like, you need to slow down. But I don't know, that's just how my brain works. When there's a task I'm excited about, I do it in the moment. Um, the only thing I really ever procrastinate on is like filling out online paperwork because that makes me want to claw my eyeballs out. But other than that, um, I do things in real time and that makes just makes it so much less overwhelming, especially like, for a video like this where there's going to be maybe 50 to 100 little clips to just do a chunk and then pull them straight from my they're all just in my photo app right now on my phone pull them straight into iMovie and start editing and get that chunk ready to go and then film another chunk and then pull them in and edit and then doing it as i go along makes the project way less overwhelming and easy to manage and if anyone's curious on the process on that i pull in the clips i edit them down to the appropriate like you know, trim off the beginnings and ends or like shorten them out however they need to be. And then I will do any voiceovers of parts that need voiceovers and then add the appropriate transitions between shots. And then I add music at the very end if any parts call for it. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then I'm going to spend a little time getting back to some comments I need to get back to. And yeah, that's gonna be my little library work day. Obviously I can't film myself working too much because I've mentioned I do everything on my phone. So I can't film myself editing on my phone, on my phone, if you get what I mean. Uh, but I'll give you a little sneak peek on what the library looks like. Okay, so let's go. Okay, library field trip was a success. I got my editing done for the first part of this video. It seems kind of weird editing the video that I'm videoing right now, but we got it done. Got some comments answered and connected with some awesome people and did a little bit more tweaking editing on the uh, short that I filmed this morning. That's going to be ready to go to publish this uh, tonight or this evening-ish. Um, whenever I feel like dropping it. <laughs> um, but now I am hungry. I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm not gonna do like a giant uh, shop with me haul because low key, I just really don't have energy for that <laughs> right now. I've been working all day and with grocery shopping lately, I've been enjoying going multiple times a week. I know that's not practical for a lot of people, but for getting fresh produce, I find especially like lettuce, like doesn't last that long. And I just like can't, wrap my head around stocking up. I like to just get a few things for a few days and then I go back because I live, like I said, super close to the grocery store and it's fine for me to do that. 
And I've also been enjoying eating at work more too. We do have a lot of delicious, yummy vegan meals that I can have, some noodles or salads, and it's just a lot easier for me to get food there, which means I have to grocery shop less in general too. So I'm gonna get a, uh, a few things, a few bits and bobs to pick up, and then also an epic salad because Jimbo's has the best organic salad bar. I've mentioned Jimbo's before. They are local to San Diego, but they're awesome because their produce is 100% organic. Um, so I'm super loyal to them and they always source from local farms as much as possible. So they are rad. All right, we're gonna go there now. We're back. Okay, here's the little haul that I did. I got, of course, what would shopping be without super squishy dates? I got some dates. I got a bunch of potatoes. I these massive purple Benyagi sweet potatoes. See if I can pull this out for you. Oh no, peach down. Look at that beast. She's gorgeous. Japanese sweet potatoes are amazing. If you can find the purple ones, they taste so, so good. And I like the texture better. So purple vinyagi potatoes, and then also a bunch of Yukon gold potatoes, and now bruised peach among some other peaches, a tomato, a couple avocados, We've got some lettuce, gluten-free oatmeal, this is going to be my dinner tonight. I've never heard of this Mafalda pasta. This is gluten-free brown rice pasta. That's the best brand, by the way. Um, but this, they're like little miniature lasagna sheets. I love the texture so much. It's delicious. I'm gonna do this with this vegan cheese. They don't advertise it vegan because Primal doesn't like vegan, but whatever, they're, it's vegan. This and this is gonna be like my vegan mac and cheese hack and it's gonna be so good. So that's gonna be dinner later. And then I also got my special sauce that I put on everything. Some mustard, some chickpeas, the, from the bulk section, some organic uh, white basmati rice. And then I got the epic salad bar. Let me see if I can name everything that's in here. There's. Butter lettuce, romaine lettuce, mixed greens, some green bell peppers, red onions, um, baby sprouts, bean sprouts, corn, tomatoes, green bell peppers, cucumbers, olives, cranberries, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, red cabbage. Um, I think that's it. I might have missed something, but she's a beauty. For the dressing, I'm literally just going to take an avocado and some mustard. I mash that up and then add some like a little bit of salt and garlic salt and it makes like a creamy, super yummy dressing. It's basically guacamole, whatever. That's gonna be my salad dressing because I've said I don't love oils. They make my skin break out and they are a migraine trigger for me. So I don't usually use the ones they have at the store. That is gonna be my dressing on Epic Salad. And to finish off, I they had this beautiful Cuban black bean soup. So I'm going to have that with my salad as well. Okay, let's make my food. I forgot to mention these bad boys. This is a treat. I don't always buy these, but you gotta live sometimes. These, if you can find them near you, they are so ridiculously good. It's still better than like a Chips Ahoy. The ingredients are real. It's almonds, maple syrup, shredded coconut, uh, cane sugar, cocoa butter, coconut oil, vanilla extract, sea salt. Like it's still real food, um, but the texture, they're soft and squishy and they're like sweet, but not overly fake sweet tasting. There's that hint of salt in there. These bad boys are delicious and I haven't had them in a long time and they are sometimes hard to find. I saw them and like, I've worked hard today. We're gonna get some of these. Out here on the porch, my private dining room. There's been an update actually. Got a little mat rug thing for the chair because I like to be out here barefoot and uh, the ground's a little grimy. So that's the new update. 
since the home tour, but everything else is the same. I am super excited to eat this. Admittedly, it looks a little sloppy now that I've mixed all the avocado in, but it's still gonna take it's delicious, so I'm gonna eat that now. Bye. Are you ready for this? Oh my God. Definitely, I mentioned, I'm talking with food in my mouth. Give me a minute. That's a serious foodgasm. I've mentioned I'm not a dessert person, but every once in a while there is a sweet thing that comes along that holds my heart, and that is one of them. Damn, that was so good. Okay, we are getting later into the afternoon here. If you're still hanging out with me, thanks for hanging out today. Um, I am going to start powering down the, the battery a little bit. I have been very active today, but even though it's been work, it's been, it's all fun stuff. And using my body or being out in the world or making art or working on this creatively on this channel, that's all play too. So it's not like strenuous suffering work. I've had a great time today doing everything that I've been doing but it needs to come into balance and so i am going to start powering down for the rest of the day i am going to go out to my pool now not to get back in uh, but it's very relaxing for me to just sit out there it's beautiful and the chairs are cozy and it's nice to be outside in the afternoon light and it's cooling off finally and there's a bunch of kids out there whoops <laughs> there's a bunch of kids out there right now it's summer vacation and it's sweet to see all the little kids playing together in the families and i'm just going to decompress from the day i'm not going to be doing more work out there i'm just going to sit and be and relax so that's what i'm gonna go do now It has cooled off quite a bit on my patio and it feels glorious. I'm about to tuck into dinner here. Here's the finished mac and cheese product. I've mentioned before, I don't really mess with vegan cheeses because I think most of them are A, disgusting and B, filled with lots of fake ingredients and fillers and non-food that's no healthier for you. But this brand in particular is awesome because um, it is all whole food ingredients and all real food so and it actually tastes good so primal kitchen their queso it's super yummy i didn't feel myself cooking this because it was just boiling pasta and if you don't know how to boil pasta like i don't know see me after class on that one uh but just literally boiled the pasta and dumped the sauce in i did add some of my special sauce to give it a little bit more zest and make it um just kind of like a spicy mac the box says serves six or serves one vegan. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Uh, I gotta carve up when you're doing vegan life and I am super excited to eat this. Let me put it on the ground actually. So I, I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. That would be really sad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this. And normally I have a strict no screen time after dinner rule, but today is a special exception. I am going to tidy up the last little bit of this video and edit it, finish the editing, and then export it from iTunes back into my camera roll so that it's ready to be uploaded tomorrow. Tomorrow I am going to do absolutely nothing. Um, I did a lot today and I was happy to do everything that I got done, but for me, living life as a content creator and then also having a full-time job that is very strenuous as a bartender it is very very vital to my mental and physical and spiritual and emotional health and physical health to have a day of complete nothingness that is why i'm not going to film anything tomorrow anyway um but it's worth it for me to just tidy up this video tonight and then have essentially nothing on my to-do list tomorrow except i am going to sit and be in nature and have a lot of stillness and slowness and maybe listen to some music. Um, I may drive to the beach to watch the sunset and take myself out to a dinner. That's kind of my one uh, weekend ri ritual. I like to take myself on a date to one of my favorite restaurants. It's never overly fancy. It's usually 
Thai food or Indian food um, or one of my favorite restaurants, but I may go watch the sunset back at the beach because I do miss that. Uh, we'll see how I feel. But other than that, just a lot of stillness and quiet time. And it's worth mentioning, you probably maybe sorted that out from today's video that the only human interaction I've had today is, well, you <laughs> talking to this camera, uh, if anyone's out there, but um, a brief interaction with the checkout lady at the grocery store, and that's literally it. And it's not sad or lonely to me, or I don't feel depressed because I didn't hang out with friends today or go do a bunch of social activities. I am perfectly happy in my own company and working intensely on my own and enjoying just peace and quiet. And as I've said many times, I get plenty of social interaction at my job during the week. So hanging out by myself on the weekend is a treat and I am best friends with myself and I think that's a, a good thing. So I mean, to each their own, everyone's wired differently, but I it took me a while to learn in my older years that I it's okay to be on my own so much and spend so much time on my own. So that was the day off today. Okay, I'm going to tuck into my mac and cheese and then after dinner, it's just going to be some real slow, silent time. Okay, good night. I almost forgot, we do have to do a bite test. Yes, this is good. Okay, now I'm gonna eat this. It is time for me to settle into the rest of my evening. I'm going to be going into deep stillness and silence, maybe a little bit of meditation music, but definitely just some slow, 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 quiet, quiet, quiet time um, that I'm going to be sinking into. Thank you for hanging out with me today. It's always a pleasure to connect with all of you. And wherever you are at whatever time of day it is, whatever you're doing, if you would like, I invite you to step into a moment of stillness with me now to calm your mind and calm your body and open your heart and just come back to center. Thank you for watching today and enjoy the silence with me.